He is history's most commercially successful magician. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of David Copperfield and some theories behind a few of his illusions. A lot of my critics say I can't get through a show without a pretty lady, a lot of smoke, and wind blowing my hair. <laughs> well, tonight, I'm going to prove to you that they're right. David Seth Kotkin was born September 16, 1956, in Metuckin, New Jersey. After taking an interest in magic, the shy boy joined the Society of American Magicians when he was 12. The organization's youngest member quickly developed his skills in the art and learned more about performing by going to Broadway shows. By 16, he was teaching magic at New York University. Two years later, he was attending university himself and won the main role in the Magic Man musical. Inspired by the Charles Dickens novel, David Copperfield, as he was now known, used this performance experience to book other work. Soon, Copperfield was discovered by a television producer who made him host of the TV special, The Magic of ABC. What are you doing? I'm just checking this set out. From where I stand, there is no way you're going to get this set up into the air. <laughs> Impossible. Well, well, nothing's impossible. I've been working on it a little bit. Too. <laughs> After that, CBS hired him for a series of annual TV specials called The Magic of David Copperfield that ran between 1978 and 1998. Watch closely Wednesday for the all-new breathtaking CBS special, The Magic of David Copperfield. In these shows, Copperfield performed huge magic tricks for TV cameras and a group of live witnesses. Though Copperfield has acted in film and appeared on TV shows, it was these 20 television specials that proved he was a great performer and magician. What would you say if the card that you selected matches my prediction? <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Some of his most impressive and memorable early illusions included vanishing an airplane, floating over the Grand Canyon, and the illusion of the century making the Statue of Liberty disappear. You look like a skeptic. All I know is that when the curtain dropped, the statue was not there and I didn't see it. Copperfield challenged himself by coming out with bigger and better illusions as the years went by, and he was rewarded with over 20 Emmy Awards. Besides several daring and complex escape attempts, the magician has walked through the Great Wall of China, escaped from Alcatraz, plunged over Niagara Falls, and lived the dream by flying through the air. While he has been injured by some of his dangerous stunts, Copperfield has never quit performing magic. The early 1990s saw him use his wealth and fame to develop other projects such as the rehab program Project Magic and the International Museum and Library of the Conjuring Arts. In the mid-90s, Copperfield took his magic to Broadway. Dreams and Nightmares was a box office smash and secured the charming performer rave reviews for the interactive live show. Spirit, spirit. Take the coat. He also put out two anthologies bringing together fictional stories about magic. Though his long-term relationship with supermodel Claudia Schiffer ended before decades end, Copperfield's professional life continued to rise. With an estimated $55 million in earnings, he was the world's 10th highest paid celebrity in 2003, according to Forbes magazine. During the next few years, Copperfield and his model girlfriend welcomed a daughter. He also wowed audiences with a multiple-year Las Vegas residency. Magicians promise never to explain how their tricks are performed, and that keeps people guessing about how Copperfield has managed to do things that seem impossible. And his flying trick definitely had people talking. The most widely circulated explanation was that he fastened extremely strong but thin ropes to a belt under his clothing, which the crew manipulated offstage. Meanwhile, his onstage assistants created the optical illusion that Copperfield was flying through the rings without any help. <laughs> 
But making the Statue of Liberty disappear was definitely one of Copperfield's most famous stunts. Our time is running short, but I think it's important for me to recap using this model of Liberty Island. Some people believed he did it by putting his audience and two tall, brightly lit columns on a platform that turned. When he raised the curtain, that platform turned and hid the statue behind one of the columns. I have never seen a Statue of Liberty disappear the way this one did. Despite these theories, the King of Magic is a living legend who has been knighted by France and boasts 11 Guinness World Records to his name. His talent and artistry have won him more awards than any other magician and he is one of the world's best-selling solo entertainers. Undoubtedly, David Copperfield will continue to keep magic lovers happy for generations to come. I hope you like it. I hope it works. It's kind of cool. That's it.